Hey, what's going on, y'all? Welcome to the Royal Oak Podcast. Uh, you know, aka Nate Laws presents the Royal Loyal Podcast, but it's just the Royal Oak Podcast. Where we're gonna be talking about some comic book movies today. Um, shout out first of all, shout out to my uh, Patreon Royals: Daniela, Eric Johnson, Jonathan William Reese, uh, Keith Lyles, Mike Lucinos, and Shani. Thank you all for being uh, loyals for this long and on Patreon and you know showing some love on there. Uh, today I am joined by two awesome people. This is Joe and Mariah. Check them out. What's up, Joe Mariah? How you doing today? How you feeling? How you feeling, Joe? How you doing? How you been up to, man? man what you been I up to? Went to WonderCon today. WonderCon. It was great. Spent way too much money on merch and fun things. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Fun th- <laughs> Mariah biting your tongue. What's up? How you been? What you been up no, to? <laughs> um, a lot of the things we bought were probably my fault because I was like, we're at a con and cons are for buying merch and spending money. It's the thing to do. Um, <laughs> and seeing people. Okay. And seeing people. Okay. <laughs> saw several friends. Like we four saw friends several today. friends. Okay. Four or five friends today. It's great. We also bought things. Gotcha. Because those gotcha. sellers are good. And do I need more D&D dice? No. Did I buy another set? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Do I, need more decks? <laughs> do I need more decks of cards? No. Did I buy a new one? Yeah. Yes. What would what, you buy? Mm-hmm. So they're called Osiris. They're this awesome, like, green, uh, uh, like, Egyptian-themed... Oh, that would have been we perfect. I should have brought them. This goes Knight. perfectly with Moon Knight. Oh, but they're all like, like shimmery and sparkly. They're gorgeous. Oh, they're in the car. Yeah, yeah. In the car. I, was, I thought y'all didn't stop at home, but all right. Yeah, it's left in the car. Yeah. Right, what you, what you buy? What else you buy? Dice and what else? I bought dice. I bought some more stickers for my water bottle. What did I buy? I bought more stickers. Uh, stickers. Yeah, I did. I bought a little baby Grogu with his little his little uh, bobble. Yeah, it's an um, expensive water bottle. If anyone finds it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I the stickers of... were a dollar each. Okay, all right, all right, that's right, the right, worst thing. It. Okay. Right, um, cool, cool, cool. And I bought something Rapunzel related. You know, we just we went around. We're like, yeah. ooh, I like that. <sighs> I wish I was a wonder kind. I missed it, but you know, they came through. They represent it for the peoples. Yes. I don't know who the peoples are, but they represent it. The peoples who <laughs> like I was, things. I was there in spirit. <laughs> yeah. I wish you could support that. Show them that jacket. We'll show the jacket later. That jacket show is really jacket dope. Later. The jacket is dope. Joke's awesome. Stay tuned at the end for. Oh okay. yeah. <laughs> Maybe we do some fashion show at the end. Show them the jacket, how it zip, 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 zippers and zippers. Yeah, zip, so many zip, zippers, so many yeah. options. <laughs> so it's many customizable. Pockets. Indeed. Um, so today, I mean, they're here. We're gonna, like I said, we're going to talk about comic book movies. Uh, we're also going to talk about some series and maybe some trailers, whatever came through. We're going to answer some questions that you guys uh, yeah. sent in. You emailed me. Two people emailed me. Well, more than two people emailed me some questions. Two of them I chose because some of them were... Uh, a little inappropriate for uh, children under eighteen. So you. you know, I mean, it's just is this a mature podcast? Can we curse? We can curse. It's Hell just, yeah! I don't okay. want to talk about <laughs> what I look like naked and certain things and all that. that yeah, the emails oh, are good. Sometimes. It's pretty good if you get the chance. And cut the black. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, later on, we'll talk about some of the things we've been getting into lately. So uh, just to remind you, we have the Ruby Gold comic book trivia tournament out right now um well i was about to make a spoiler but yeah joe's in it mariah's in it they've been killing it uh so check that out it's on my youtube page youtube.com slash lyle's nate i have my sci-fi short warning label in my sci-fi short past life and of course the uncharted um yeah. map quest that these two produced that uh, joe mariah produced um and we took that to comic-con uh, they're at wonder con today but we took that project to comic-con la comic-con yes how y'all feel being on stage with your baby i mean it was your your movie baby it was surreal because like i was expecting like we had friends there who were at the con and we're like hey we're producing like we made this little short film if you guys want to come we're premiering it so i knew like at least 10 people were coming that i knew and then like those people were kind of there and we were talking to them and then i kind of looked away from the conversation and then there were like 20 more people there and i'm like strangers who knows these people and they're like we don't know any of them we're like all these people are here and then like 20 more people showed up and it was like we got like some people here to watch this thing holy crap yes and then you know (laughs) the thing played Cool moments were met with a good reaction. Jokes yeah. were met with yes, laughs. And it was a, like, oh, I'm so happy. Like, it was awesome. And then people actually had very insightful yes. questions to ask at the end because we kind of, at the end, we talked about a lot of stunt stuff and, mm-hmm. like, how we made certain things happen and what why certain things were the way they were. Yeah, yeah it was, I was so excited about it. It was amazing because 
like a lot of artists, I'm sure, mm -hmm. quarantining was oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. a trial and yeah. a half. And so, so much of this project was just, we need to be creative. We need to do something. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. kind of collaborated this little heart project together. Mm -hmm. And yeah, the fact that there were people who we didn't know yeah. asking us like about our process and about things that, you know, obviously we thought about, but we weren't expecting to get such insightful questions yeah, 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 on. Audience, yeah. So it was amazing. It was, yeah, it was quite a treat. Yeah. And prior, prior to Uncharted, had both of y'all played all the games? I forgot. Yes. 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 Definitely. Okay. Yeah. Is there another one coming out? Yeah, no. yeah. I haven't no. heard, but if there is, I will. I don't think so. Not that I've heard. <laughs> all right. All right. I mean, it's, been, it's been doing good and getting good views on uh online and everything. Yeah. So I haven't checked in in a while. A couple people was asking me, is, "Are we going to do more?" And is mm. is uh, if you'd like little, to see you know, more? I'm down to cut my hair and do more. There you go. <laughs> cut the hair. Ooh, goodness. You know. You know. He does like his hair long. I like my hair longer. So that means a lot. Yeah. yeah. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> I'm, I'm with it. Shoot, y'all, let me know. I got upgraded my filming equipment and everything. I'm ready to yeah. use it. So, mm -hmm. and uh, let's see. So, with that out the way, uh, we've been watching some. Um, we watching some TV. We watching some Disney Plus and uh, some Ooh, comic book movies. Yeah. There's so much comic book content coming out this year. You got like Shazam, not Shazam. What is it? Black Adam, Black Adam. and mm -hmm. uh, Black Panther. Flash and, got pushed uh, back. So Black Flash. Oh, so we can. Skip like, that till next year. Oh yeah, yeah. That could, that's a, Did that's it really? A, it got pushed back. Yeah. Why did it get pushed back? Jeff? Again, again. I don't know, man. You don't know? I, don't, I, I didn't mean, look at sure. the. I just saw the headline. Is like Flash got pushed back. Of course it did, and I kept scrolling. Oh, so you didn't hear about the bull getting arrested? <laughs> And why he got arrested? I, I saw that. He got arrested for disorderly conduct in Hawaii. Yeah. <laughs> Threatening to kill people. Nah. Yeah. But this ain't a gossip show. Not yet. No. We'll get there later. It'll be like Joe's Tea Time. <laughs> <laughs> a little segment called Joe's you Tea Time. You don't even drink tea. Let me tell you about this. <laughs> you don't even drink it's tea. It's not my cup of tea and I don't even drink tea. <laughs> <laughs> That's not my cup of tea. But have you all seen Moon Knight? I don't know why I'm asking. Yes. I'm sure you've seen Moon Knight. Yes. <laughs> all oh, right. Yes. So... I saw Moon Knight 2 mm -hmm. as well. And I mean, my first impressions was just like, I went in no expectations, of course. And, you know, I'm watching it and I didn't, I'm not familiar with, too much, too familiar with the character. Mm -hmm. I've not, never read, I'll be honest, I've never read a Moon Knight ca uh, comic book. And um, uh, all I know is that the lead actor, or the, lead, the two lead actors, I guess the antagonist, protagonist, mm -hmm. like I know them and they do good work and they pick oh, good yeah. projects. Yeah. And this, I think, is a project that a good one that they picked and mm -hmm. i enjoyed it like from beginning to end fantastic just man. like with daredevil you you didn't see the costume until like way later with this didn't need the costume to enjoy it and when we got it it was cool mm -hmm. moment when it did happen and yeah like overall the show's good that's, that's i mean that's what i can yeah. say now we can talk spoilers too like i don't you know yeah, okay. at this point the spoiler, spoiler warning is out there alert. yeah we're gonna yeah, talk gonna about say. all the things like that first scene man break it down what just... was the first scene from the jump I've told a couple of friends who haven't seen the show yet. Right. It's just, they were like, what do you think? I'm like, it's great. You have to watch it. I was like, but the first scene, mm -hmm. by the end of it, you're going to be like, Because eh. <laughs> he freaking dumps the glass in his sandals and he starts yeah. walking. And, you, and there's like, they have the foley and the sound effects. It's like, it's that, I'm like, oh, God. That gross. sets you up for something. I think it Made was you feel so <laughs> smart mm. that within 30 seconds, yeah. you had such a clear view of how much Arthur Harrow is yeah. unhinged. Just how he lives talking to his goldfish. Mm -hmm. He's got to no. unhook. Arthur. No, the, the, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yes. The glass feet. But the glass, yes, we're <laughs> yeah. still on the glass feet. <laughs> yeah, like how? Because like the, the regimented, like he yeah. was so brilliant that when he was doing his sequence of events, mm -hmm. he had done it many many times before yeah, it was yeah. like clockwork it was like muscle memory like mm -hmm. nothing was out of place it was always so meticulous mm -hmm. and then so, the second he walks away on the glass filled shoes yeah. and with barely even a limp yeah he was used to it I was like whatever whatever his mission is he's he's all in <laughs> yeah and, and I'm one full believer or whatever you know a believer or i don't know if he's supposed to be like, going believing or getting people to believe yeah. but yeah and he's seen that he had followers and shit and i was like all right so they ride or die these people are going to die for this man and and i was wondering too like if i buy this man's hand <laughs> in some cases yeah but like i was wondering i was like 
we don't know what his powers are like what exactly how exactly he like transfers his power or whatever i'm like does he need the pain to like stay super focused or like what uh, is that for we don't know yet right, right i also right. thought that you were going to be completely disgusted when he like dips his finger in the water and then like drinks from it i was like he's not gonna like that at all he's gonna hate contaminating that contaminating the water yeah like contaminating the water. he doesn't even like people touching the inside of his popcorn without oh no with a thumb yeah, uh, thumb, in the the thumb of the popcorn <laughs> the movie theater is my pet peeve putting your thumb in a bucket of popcorn and hand it to dude when I went to see uh, Morbius, which we'll talk about in a moment, uh, I went to see Morbius, the dude did that. And I'm like, oh, can I just get some of the hot popcorn? But, you know, we're going off topic. <laughs> um, <laughs> how how'd y'all how did y'all feel about, uh, well, let me tell you, what I, the scenes where he would blank out, we miss a lot of action and then blank back in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I didn't. I still didn't feel like I was missing action. No, I felt like that was the perfect way to show it. Because, yeah. like, and I, you immediately establish that like he's our guy and we're with him. Yes. And so like we shouldn't be with him when he's not there. Yeah. And that's fun to like just you know when he, especially when he's driving the car and yeah. like, give me <laughs> control <laughs> and then <laughs> boom. Yeah. <gasps> like, he's got that gun and he freaks out. It was so good. Just like all of a sudden his his hand is covered in blood and you're like yeah. It's almost like old school unreliable narrator like. Yeah. The, those right, of us right. when you're like studying scripts and studying things like you it's so interesting as a viewer who doesn't know what's coming to be following a narrator who doesn't know what's coming. You know, it's oh, like yeah, there right. are some yeah, yeah, movies yeah. where audience knows and character does not. Right. But when you are step by step, beat by beat in the same amount of space and knowledge as the character you're with, yeah, it's yeah. really exciting. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah. I think it was a, a really good touch that every time um, he calls his mom mm-hmm. that it's a voicemail. And so like, like she was never actually on the phone with him, so right, like, right, there's right. a thought of like, mm. she dead? Is this just another don't coping exist. mechanism? Yeah, he yeah, has? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. but you don't realize just, that until the very end of the first one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. first one, it could have been either way, and then you find out again. Like he just keeps oh, calling. Oh no, that I number. didn't. Think, I didn't like. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, no one's ever on the other side of the phone. Like that. Oh, he's just chit chatting yeah, to nobody. Yeah, we both were like, I wonder if she is still alive. <laughs> I wonder who, who asked the girl on a date. That's what I want to know. Oh, the other, the other, the alter ego, man. Yeah, yeah, Whichever one is the There's contention one like, about hey, that, man. though. Oh, really? There's, a, I'm, okay. There's contention. I've been mm-hmm. on the interwebs. All mm-hmm. right, all right. Because. <laughs> Speak on the webs. <laughs> Mark, Mark Spector, who is the mm-hmm. alter ego, the only other one that we've seen yeah. Steven talking to so far, right. we know from the comics is in a relationship with Layla. Yeah. Right. So there is some contention as to why would Mark Spector, with an American accent, be asking oh, out the wonder. British tour guide if he was already in a committed relationship with Layla. That's true. And, and she, so they're positing it's a third a third alter ego that we have not met yet. Could be. Yeah, I was about to say, how many do, how many do we know In the comics, of? there's yeah. up to five. Yeah. But I think yeah. so far we only know Because Mark. the um, the lady, he works with her. So if he spoke to her mm-hmm. in an American accent... She would wonder. She would be why. like, "What are you doing? Why are you talking like Correct. that?" Correct. Yeah. So, yeah, interesting. Yeah. So I guess we we can't. So really is it a different? Is it Mark putting on the British accent to sound like Stephen and still doing it? But yeah, there's there are some questions about who it was. Okay. Mm. That's what I want to know. Yeah. I know I'll intrigue. The other, what was it? it was something else I was I was wondering. Ah, what was it? The other like, the flashing the flashing away. That was cool. What was it? All of the mirrored moments and all of yeah, that. So oh, many like oh. reflections and stuff going on. So cool. That was dope. One, uh, really while you think on that, yeah. one touch that I loved and it really like stuck out to me was uh, he's being chased by that giant like dog, like Anubis looking yeah, 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 creature. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so like the whole time it's just kind of a shadowy figure and it's chasing him. And then the second he turns into Moon Knight, the first thing you see is the dog trying to run out yeah, yeah, of I the room love and <laughs> yeah. it drags him back in. Yeah. Like, that tells you everything you need to know about <laughs> yep. how Moon Knight fights. Yes, or like that's his, what his presence that he brings to a fight. Like you're yes. terrified. And we of got him. six episodes to see and like more of that. Yeah, you got this creepy monster that's trying to get away from Moon Knight. It's like okay, this guy is terrifying yeah. to fight. Yeah. Were there any other questions that came up here? Like they like y'all want to know. What's going to, like, next time? Well, so I didn't know. Tell I think either of that? us, we didn't know anything really about Moon Knight either. Yeah, I wasn't super worried So when he was in the hallway and it was 
almost like the more horror aspect of that episode when he was mm. in the hallway running away and you saw that like skeletal bird figure coming at him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The hell is that? <laughs> I, I've I done some even... research. Okay. Um, right. Apparently, Khonshu, Khonshu, the Egyptian god that brings Mark back to life, that's how he's depicted is as a bird, but not skeletal. The creepy mm. as crap skeletal face mm -hmm. with the, like, the floating head mm -hmm. apparently was adapted for the show. Oh, but right. he but is, it's not Khonshu? It is Khonshu. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just, I think it plays super well. Him, yeah, but look. people were com confused slightly because it's not exactly how you've seen him in the comics. Yeah, which he Marvel, looks like a full bird in the comics. Marvel okay. takes their liberties. I think this is a yeah. new creative touch. I like it. I like yeah. it. It was yeah. terrifying. Yeah. I literally think it was on the couch and I'm like, I know they said this is supposed to be scary, but I don't, I don't like <laughs> scary it? things. scary? Yeah, they said it was like going to horror realm. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's right. gonna be a little... It's like Doctor Strange a little mm -hmm. bit. I wonder if uh, yeah. I wonder how scary Doctor Strange is gonna be. Yeah, they said they wanted yeah. it to be like a horror movie, so I mean I'm gonna see it anyway, but so I don't like scary things. <laughs> yeah. Like the uh, haunting of Hill House. That that type of scary oh, no, we're getting into. Seen. Oh you haven't seen that? No. Have you seen it? Just? Haunting of Hill House? No. No. Nope. She doesn't watch stuff. it. Nope. <laughs> it's good stuff. It's good stuff. I'm like, everyone, you love it. That's great. All right. Were there any I other highlights that y'all uh of the show? Uh, I'm wondering because there's a lot of like there's fun parallels you can like find in comic book movies like mm -hmm. you can see the boardroom of directors who don't care about any of this yeah, stuff yeah, yeah, they... like saying what was that that particular like scene in the movie people liked do it again <laughs> so I'm wondering if people really liked the scene in Spider-Man Far uh, yeah Far From Home mm. where they uh, the robot comes when Peter first puts on the glasses and hates the guy who's kind of hitting on MJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, it's yeah, yeah. a fight. It's sort of like an action scene on a winding road yeah. on the edge of a cliff in a mountainous region. I'm like, this is very similar to Far From Home. I didn't Is it that. just like, people like that scene, so let's do something similar to that. Uh, or if it's just, I, I mean, know. it could be one or the other, but I was just like, what are you doing? Is it? I just wanted to show he was in a different country. He was in a different country, right? Yeah, like I think the Alps. Yeah, yeah, Switzerland, I think they said at one point. Yeah. What I really liked about it is that the creators really count on their audience being all in and yeah. paying attention and intelligent yes. enough to keep up with what is happening. They Definitely. don't pull any of their punches and they don't string you along and they don't hold your hand with a lot of it. Yeah, and I like that. There too. was so much packed into the first episode. Yeah. Yep. I was about to say, the a lot of questions go unanswered. Yeah. yeah. I was when I saw that 45 minutes, we was going to have about 45 minutes. I'm like, let's mm -hmm. see what they do with 45 minutes. So, yeah. and they did they a lot. So much, but it didn't feel rushed. No, nah, dude, that's what, yeah. which was brilliant. Yeah. It's hard to put that much in and not feel rushed. Like, we mm -hmm. didn't even get, I would say, quote unquote, like, cool story stuff till probably like halfway through it. Yeah. Till mm -hmm. he wakes up in. In Switzerland, and then yeah, just yeah, like, yeah. what is going on? Like, oh, so now we're in it. And the guys are waving at him. He's waving. Yes. And they're like, shooting at him. Why are you waving at us? Out of nowhere. One of the immediate things we said, too, when it drops you into Oscar Isaac's, into Steven's room, the fact that they didn't show us. Mark or how Mark got his powers or Conchu or anything. Right, right, right. They just showed him with his nighttime routine of sand around the bed, tape on the door, ankle shackles, and like, again, treating yeah. your audience very smartly. Like, that's, you get yeah, in there yeah, yeah. and you're like, oh, he's afraid of where he goes at night. And mm -hmm. then the trying to not fall asleep with like the Rubik's Cube. And the, mm -hmm. It was just so yeah. well I saw done. him having a journal entry, so this yeah. is number two where I don't, nah. Yeah. We know what's going on. Yeah, I mean, it clearly touches on your point. There's almost no dialogue, if I remember correctly. There was a song, yeah. I think, it's playing like in the background. Just, yeah, doing it was just him doing for a while. while. And then the dialogue of whatever the like the sleep, mm -hmm. trying not to fall asleep soundtrack yeah. was. But yeah. he had almost no dialogue. And I loved, I loved Oscar Isaac's just like character work. Like he's just mm -hmm. so like you you've seen him in other movies, like especially like perfect example Poe from mm -hmm. Star Wars. He is so headstrong and self confident. And then yeah. you got him running, oh, hi, excuse me, put me in. <laughs> and then, you know, you, you get to Mark Spector in the mirror, and he's like, look, give me control. And he's, like, so, like, yeah. focused and, like, oh. type A. And then he's like, what? Like, it's so, uh, he's doing a great, great job. Yeah, but I was a greatly cast it. Greatly he's cast it. He's so good. Greatly cast it. Yeah. I know he said he wasn't going to do Star Wars anymore, so Disney was like, well, we got this other thing for you. Well, it was interesting, <laughs> uh, him and, what's the name of the, uh, um, the other actor? The antagonist, Ethan Hawke? Ethan Hawke. Yeah. So Oscar Isaac and Ethan Hawke both said in interviews that they signed up for Moon Knight mm -hmm. specifically because it was going to be 
to a certain extent, like, disconnected from the MCU. Mm. Like, it was going to be more self-contained. There was going to be a bunch of, like, crossover oh, uh, with other characters. They were saying they liked it because it was so self-contained. Yeah, I was wondering how they would get Ethan Hawke involved. Yeah, like, yeah, he's serious, like, like heavy-hitting actors. Yeah. yeah. Great stuff. Yeah. But I, I do like um, how they didn't, like, force, not force feed, but, like, feed the audience shit and just let you figure it out on your own. Mm-hmm. Um the scene where he woke up in a room, it touched on your point of just us being with this one character throughout the whole yeah. story. That's what I love. That's why I think they didn't have to say any, tell us anything. And then mm-hmm. I think they didn't have to have so much action because that was interesting enough just to follow mm-hmm. this character with this, like going through what he's gone through, just seeing that. Like for me, like I didn't need any action in this episode. I just mm-hmm. needed these, like, because you know, they say this is the question that drives us. There were so many questions, like, what is he going through? Yeah. This is a, it's a, an interesting case study on people yeah. with this, like, disability. Yeah. Dis- disability? Or this affliction? Yeah, affliction. Probably affliction is a good yeah. word for yeah. it. It's like disability, yeah. but... I wonder And if... it's scary in itself. That's scary in itself. Losing time. Yeah. Yeah. The so, fact of losing time is really terrifying. So that got me all in right there. And then, you know, we get the Egyptian gods and the scaries yeah. and all the other crazy shit going on involved. And, you know, I'm and there Donna. for it. Yeah. yeah, this Donna. random person on the phone. <laughs> Donna. She's rude. She's got rude. Any, rude. Got any theories going forward of what might happen, where it goes? Or I, y'all, I have no expectations. I just want to be... I hope there's an episode. Play. Like, I know we were talking about, like, I didn't miss the action in this first episode, like, when he yeah. skips time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would be really interested if they had an, a whole episode where it was from Mark Spector's perspective. That's what I was where wondering. It's like, all the like, time he misses, we catch it on, like, the second episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was wondering, would that... Or if anything, they might just keep the story going, but then switch it to Mark's POV. You know what I mean? Where mm, like we the, don't go backwards in time. We don't go backwards in time, but things that are progressing now we mm-hmm. see from Mark's perspective. It, unless you know, let's say, like they do that, which I think would be dope. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, we don't know what's gonna happen, but if they do like episode two is from the other's perspective, and you get and we're getting more information. Yeah, because mm-hmm. he's doing something while yeah. this, this guy is sleeping. Like he wakes up. We he we. I mean, you know, the the board was moved and something yeah. was like mm-hmm. that happened somehow. And to be able to see that, but as like give us more information yeah. as far yeah. as the story goes, I think would be dope. But and then like episode three, it's like all right, now we move on from there. Mm-hmm. If, if episode one and two are from a different perspective and connect somewhere. I, just, I think it would be brilliant. And three, writing it has three. both perspectives and we can ride with both yeah, of them. Yeah, and now we know both of them. Yeah, in way. yeah, and they don't have to do that again. But I think that would be great writing. Oh, that's, yeah. that's the good. The director has said there's something really interesting where it was, I think, a, like a variety interview with him mm-hmm. um, that he almost took the season in twos. Mm. He did not say uh. anything more than that except that he viewed it as almost like three movies. Oh, episode right. one and two, okay. three and four. Oh, and right. so they probably won't go back then. But you know. so it's Three very movies. interesting that like he purposely did not give anything more than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But that is like hmm. exactly what you're saying. Like Mark getting Mark okay. later. Like maybe yeah. Mark comes in later. I have no idea what that means, okay. but it's really interesting. I think. Yeah. So, all right. so overall, I overall guess, great man. All Loved in. It. All in. I'm all yes. in on it. I'm, all I have. In. I have exciting questions that I want answered and I'm ready for more. <laughs> poor yes. Ma- poor Steven. Oh, it's really crushing, isn't it? When he's not able to be the tour guide. But he's just... Yeah. His rambling just... just want to ask a quick question, isn't it? It's you quite crushing, isn't it? You just yeah, have to not answer a question? In. I know. The steakhouse dinner? She's a hater. Oh, oh. So sad, man. Also... Sunday. That was one thing I did want to say. <laughs> you missing two days, though. Oh. One thing I wanted to say. What kind of... Piece of crap steakhouse are you running? That is all over the internet. The guy cannot decide what kind of steak he wants. Well done, then. Excuse you? Yeah, give me a minute. Well like, done? The vegan should no. not be blamed for the well done no. steak. The <laughs> vegan should not be blamed. The no, waiter it was who the works waiter. The, the, the internet was blowing up about well that. Say, what kind of steakhouse are you? The internet blew up about that? Yeah. yeah. Offering <laughs> up. You're a steakhouse. You don't. Well done. I don't know. If you I'll know, give you a moment. Not. Well done is like, how dare you? Well done, then. Like, okay, I guess I'll just have no, like, flavor or tenderness in the I steak. also oh, really related like well to done, Steven but... in that moment <laughs> because uh as a vegan myself there you go. I have had to call him <laughs> <laughs> story time quick segue <laughs> he likes having like pepperoni at home as a snack yeah. right. and so I was Just at the store I was, yeah he does and I was at the store and it said like turkey pepperoni chicken pepperoni or beef and pork pepperoni oh, God. and I was like 
Which one is the regular Which pepperoni? Is meat <laughs> overload. <laughs> she doesn't know what so I, animal pepperoni is from. <laughs> so, like, what Stephen is saying, like, the best yeah, bit. What kind of steak? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The best, bit, yeah, the best bit of a, yeah, the that best one. Bit. I, I relate to that so much because I wouldn't know. The thigh. All the, t- yeah. The ear. Spring it's just, the heart. Steak's ear. Ugh, oh, God. No. But, yeah, I that was quite, <laughs> quite humor. It just, it humanized him. Yeah, I don't like so I don't like well. a bloody steak though. You don't like a bloody steak? I don't like no. a bloody. Do you like bloody steaks? I don't take it rare. But <laughs> you like, like a steak? <laughs> take it like medium rare to medium. Well, speaking of blood, I know we all seen Morbius. Ooh. Over the week, Nate, you're a genius. I'm just saying. Brilliant <laughs> segue. Brilliant segue. Let's take a moment. <laughs> Everyone, round of applause for Nate. Round of applause Great for that creativity. beautiful so more, segue. Well done. Am I being patient? Yes. Am I being patient? No. Okay. No, it's not. That was a beautiful segue. Was great. So Morbius came out. Yeah. Friday, Thursday, Thursday with the fourth or fifth. If you see it on Thursday, I see these movies on Thursdays when they first Nothing. when they brand new these comic movies. First. We try to see them. Mm-hmm. So. Was it on the first? The first, April first. Oh, all right. Oh, appropriately. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, so Morbius. Uh, overall, let me tell you, break it down to Morbius. Ah, oh, man, I wish I had an opportunity to see it twice myself, um, because the first time I saw it, I got some pros and cons. But overall, overall, I can't. It's not a movie I can recommend. I think it's it has its exciting moments. Um, if you're not going to it to be like, I'm a comic book fan, you're just watching a vampire movie, yeah, you know, you, you, I'm, you, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. If if you like like Jared Leto with a shirt off and, you know, there's vampire stuff happening, just to be happening. Um, like, the story, I didn't really, I wasn't really feeling the story or lack thereof. Um, the action I loved. <laughs> I loved the action. It's really, the, this, the visual effects and the action and stuff I liked a lot. But, um... Yeah, just the story fell fell flat with me overall, uh, and it's not something I can really recommend highly or anything like that. But um, yeah, what do what do y'all like overall thoughts on it without being like specific yeah, scenes, sure. just like overall. Um, overall, I think there's a good movie in there somewhere. That's exact words after as we came out of the theater. We were yeah. we were talking about it, and there's like bits where, you know, he gets. He gets, he does the thing to himself. Mm. There, there's parts where he just like, it's the whole like show don't tell kind of thing. Yeah. He just comes out and he's like, all right, I've decided this isn't cool. This isn't fine. We're going to have to think of something else. And you're like, I really wish I would have seen you making that decision. Yeah. Rather than you like, just walking out of the room and be like, I have decided this. Like, I really would have liked to see you have yeah. that discovery. Because like, Jared Leto, and what was the other actor's name? Um... Who, Tyrese? Oh, Matt Smith. <laughs> Matt Smith. Matt Smith. No, his Smith. friend from the, yeah, from the yeah, hospital. Yeah. yeah. They were both My crushing life. it. Like, their scenes together, yeah. I loved them. Or at least, at least before they got all vampire But, like, yeah. I thought they were trying really hard. I thought Jared Leto was doing his best. Is, is there a movie you recommend? I cannot, people, I cannot recommend it unless you're, like, a comic book fan. Because, like, that's really what you're kind of there for. You're like, oh, shit, Morbius. He's got, like, a... Let's see, he's like a freaking B C tier villain. Like he's not yeah, really yeah. that popular. Yeah, like, that's, why him yeah. in right. some ways, but like I I think there's a there could be a good it's movie in there somewhere. Right. Like <laughs> Tyrese and the and the other guy, they're they're kind of their investigation almost If they weren't in a movie, like it goes to nothing. It could have been a they don't movie. Discover anything. <laughs> yeah. Um, but before we dig into like specifics, Mariah, do you got like overall view yes. of Morbius? Yes, I do. Like, oh. And it's not just because I watched this movie when I was very tired. Okay. <laughs> I will tell yeah. you that. I think what we were talking about with Moon Knight, mm. the exact opposite is true of Morbius. Uh, a lot of exposition. They, there was a lot of exposition. I mean, the one that right out of the gate really struck me was just Marvel's penchant for giving us text-based locations. No. <laughs> but in this, it felt very handholdy. I mean, my overall mm-hmm. impression of the movie was just when it was bare bones, actor to actor, mm-hmm. talking and feeling and connecting with each other, when the connection was there, I felt like there was a lot of electricity. There was a lot going on. And so for me... <laughs> I felt like the action pieces were where I lacked the most. Really? Yeah. Uh. 
I think not that the story was brilliantly crafted. Right, 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 right. But for me, that relationship between brothers, mm-hmm. basically, was what was one of the only things I really went away caring about. So the thing with me, like, I mean, I don't know how great grand the visual effects are, but if I were to yeah. just go back and just watch every fight scene in that movie or every action scene, I enjoyed each of them except... <laughs> This is, I'm sorry to say this, this is a little, uh, um, this, I fell asleep at the last fight or something, so I'm not really sure what happened. The last fight is I just smoke, the last and fight. smoke and fangs and claws. I Damn could it. not I tell felt, And I was happening. so upset because I fell asleep when I woke up and I was like, what the heck just happened? And then like, I don't <laughs> even know, I, I fell asleep for maybe five minutes and that yeah. was enough and I, and I missed something. That's why I wanted to watch it again, but yeah. it was enough. To, I mean, I don't know. I I I seen enough of the movie, I guess, and I knew it was going to be a fight, and I guess my brain was like already expecting it, well, and it was like, you know, eh, what the problem is about to be. You've seen a lot of comic book movies, and this exact one falls into two very, very uh, prevalent traps. Yeah, that comic book Trump, movies happen yeah. to go with, especially yeah. for like, yeah. um, origin movies. Like, mm-hmm. okay, cool, you have to fight yourself, basically. Yeah. Like, you have yeah. to fight your yeah. opposite. And I like, didn't know. They did that, that and they always want a CGI slugfest at the end of their movies uh, as their yeah. crescendo. <laughs> where, like, in the beginning where Morbius is, like, taking out all the people on the ship. Mm-hmm. Or, like, he's discovering his powers. Yeah. The action is so stylized. And it's, like, it's a horror movie. movie. And so it's serving that purpose where, like, you're, you're seeing it on, like, cam footage. Or you're just seeing a hand grind against a pipe and then slash somebody and then he's gone. Yeah, yes. I like that. That's, That's stylized. Like, it's still the same visual effects and stuff, but it's stylized. Whereas when they're just, like, they're holding on to each other, flying through the air, poof, 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 smoke, smoke, I didn't slam. See it. I didn't see they say some stuff, poof, yeah. poof, 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 I will say well, one did of he? The... Oh, no, go ahead, Nate. I was going to say, did he acquire a power that he didn't have earlier or something like he that? Was, he... was he teleporting? Is that What was the power? Because someone's like... That's he... when he drank red blood. Yeah, when he's got he when he's on the red, he can he has more power. Oh, that way. Okay. Blue just kind of gives him the strength and like yes. the echolocation. But when he's on okay. red, because there's a there's the kind of a preemptive moment at the beginning. Well, it's like in the middle, I guess. But when he's trying to escape and he gets onto the rooftop and he's seeing like the currents of wind like mm-hmm. push him, yeah. and it almost takes him off the building. Yeah, and then in the subway, he trusts the currents and then lets him fly. Uh, so I was going to touch on what Mariah was saying about the, the performances because mm-hmm. the first like quarter of the movie, like the first act, I thought was I was like, okay, this is good. Like when they showed them when they were young and everything, yeah. like that, I was I was into it. it was I, like, I was yeah, all yeah. in and this, I was like, this story going to be okay. And them getting older and, I, you know, kind of seeing it coming, like him, like the friend, what's his name again? The actor? Milo. Uh, Matt, Matt Smith. Smith. Or Milo. Why did they call him Milo? That wasn't his real name. What was his name? No. no he was like, you're the new Milo. Two yeah. Milos ago. So, like, so going to keep that going? I didn't like yeah. that at all. Like, you know, <laughs> yeah. gonna call him my goddamn name. Well, he but, called him yeah. Lucian when it really mattered. Yeah, that's Both, true. He, he, oh, called that him his, he called him his real name twice. Mm. Once when they were in the boys' home and he had to fix the machine that was mm. pumping the blood in and out. Yeah, yeah. And then right before he died. Spoiler alert. Right before he died. <laughs> um, News to me. I didn't see that part. Called him, I think it was Lucian, right? <laughs> Damn it. Yeah. That's what I missed. Twice. Yeah. Say, I'm sorry. I'm going to be all this review and I didn't even see like the little bit of the movie. <laughs> But, but I agree. I think the first, besides, like, the details of what I was getting into is right. when it said, you know, Greece 25 years ago. Yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, man. all we had to do was see a little boy yes. with black jet black hair, hair yeah. sitting in a hospital bed. And then not two seconds later, he comes in and says, hi, Michael. And I like, agree. why did we need to know it was Greece? I don't know what. <laughs> Greece never Because that hit me too. Substanti- Greece was matter. never a important ever again yeah. that yeah. location wasn't specific to anything okay and then She's 25 like years bigger. earlier we could have gleaned that three seconds later without anything you didn't even I need was... him to call him michael yeah. we got it yeah we understood i, I agree the movie is about michael morbius we understood that it was michael morbius. i don't know i don't know if it was in the contract where he has to be seen first or something but i wish they would have opened the movie with just that yeah, yeah. With with him young. That. i don't know yeah. That would have felt different, like just okay, and then then like maybe twenty five years later, then you do your whole. Yeah. Because then they went back to that, and he just came right back home. So I'm like, why yeah. didn't you? I don't know. I agree. I think maybe but, if that was a cold open, it would have read a lot better. Yeah. If yeah, the, yeah. that early earlier kid scene was a cold open, and then we yeah, just went straight to him really. being in the cave and straight back home. Yeah. These are movie makers in us. We're just like we're doing an editing room like, over. Yeah. <laughs> that was I asked him when we got out. I said, "Did this movie fall apart on the editing room floor?" I feel like it had to, because like. The it's mean fall apart, but oof. the scene where the scene where what's the girl's name? 
Wait, Martin. Yeah, Mart. We're. I'm the name girl. We're her. We Mar- gonna come to you for it. Cause <laughs> I be forgetting. I, I, I watched this very half asleep, by the way. Yeah. So. We're Morbius yeah. and Martin Thank were like you. on the rooftop, and then they ended up <laughs> kissing. Uh-huh. It was one of those like. I feel like I missed four or five Yo, scenes. It wasn't just me. Thank you. It wasn't just me. I was like, like you that s- got cut out. Yeah, you saw yeah. so much earlier that they clearly cared about each other. Yeah, but they like kept it professional and we cool. But we never like there weren't any yeah. they didn't they didn't earn glances. Earn kiss. There no, weren't any like hands touching, yeah. lingering. There was nothing in the script. That I'm they like, did he just violate her? Movie they did not. Yeah. Yeah. I hear like he just violated her and just went and kissed. And she wakes up at the end of the movie. What do you mean? Wait, wait. Yeah, you she might have does. been asleep. There's a bit where it's kind of oh like. My God. <laughs> you may have been asleep, but. Uh, okay? uh, you're right, though. No, you're right. You may have been asleep. They're, like, no, they're kind of right. wrapping everything up. It was the credit yeah. scene, wasn't it? No, not the end credits. Hmm. Scene. We're going to uh, get to that in a second. At the we end, they were wrapping everything up, and she's she wakes up on the rooftop. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 She had the red eye. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah, I did. I saw that part. I was so confused. I was like, huh? Yeah, because we don't. He did. He drank he her blood. Her? Okay, he drank her so blood. So she was dying because of Milo. So. He had done something to her on the rooftop, and then she mm-hmm. told him, "I want my. I don't know. My brain's sometimes like a steel trap. Anywho, she t- <laughs> she tells him, like, I want my death it. to mean yeah. something. Don't uh-huh. waste it. So oh she yeah, yeah okay, she I remember was that dying, too. And so then she knew at that point that he needed human blood to and be then strong enough yeah. to fight him. Yeah, okay, I remember so, that. Yeah. But and then, but we had never said anything about like that bites do turn right. people. We yeah. had only said it was the serum he created. So like the question becomes: so everybody that Milo bit is going to be tripping. But yeah, apparently that crazy. wasn't fully drained. Yeah. I don't so know. like, there's the question of mm-hmm. one: he had an extra serum because yeah, he, he made three. That's right. One for oh, himself, one for Milo, and then where's oh. that other one go? We don't know. But then maybe also, her. maybe her. Did he like one? Did she take it? Mm-hmm. Two? Did he find? Did he? accidentally turn her into a vampire like did he not know if you don't drain them all the way that they could turn or did mm-hmm. he do it on purpose like we don't did so did milo do it knows. on purpose we don't know like, like milo so milo bit her but it, he didn't drain her all the way no he just milo did it more of as like a at all, I don't he bit her and like dropped i think he did drain drain some of her blood but oh, there was definitely God. enough for I remember that morbius to take some right. yeah, after that is when i kind of like yeah messing up her was more of like a threat to him like it just was, more of a yeah. screw you so I don't think he was necessarily, like, needed to feed or anything. A lot of questions. Damn I mean, it. and it's Why like you have these the stellar actors. Yes. And, like, people have yeah. qualms about Jared Leto. Yeah. I don't. I'm but he's a stellar, stellar actor. And Matt Smith is amazing. Matt Smith is in the new yeah. Targaryen series. Yeah. That I'm so He's uh, Doctor Who, isn't he? Too? Yeah. He's well, yeah, he's yeah, the yeah, he was, the, yeah. like, one of the most popular doctors in recent decade. Yeah. But we can talk about the, t- <laughs> the Game of Thrones mm-hmm. prequel another there time. Was a, um, oh, you want to be in it? Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. going to be one of the Targaryens. There yeah. was an excellent meme. And I disagree with it because after seeing the movie, this is not Jared Leto's fault. But there was a meme and it has Darth Maul igniting his lightsaber. Oh, okay. Uh, the, the bull sides for the first time. So it right. has him like with one blade out. He holds it out and it says, uh, Jared Leto ruining DC. And then he the lights the second it? part, Jared Leto ruining, ruining Marvel. Marvel. And it was like, no, he, that wasn't <laughs> his fault. Like, I like that. As much as I would say he messed up the Joker, this is not his fault. Some of the dialogue fell flat with me too yeah. in it. but Did you like the action as the resident stuntman? I'm curious because I always want to know his. On that boat, on that was dope. Stuff. The and boat then, was sick. The boat was I, awesome. can't just, then, I can't argue with the boat. Uh, the scene subway where subway fight I liked too. It was kind of corny, but I just liked the way subway it, fight the way was honestly yeah. forgettable. I can't think of one moment oh. that like stuck in my mind other than <laughs> yeah. like him flying away. Oh god, oh. <laughs> that's the biggest right. thing of like of like fight scenes is you want to like leave a lasting impression. Mm-hmm. And, like, you want to remember cool moves or, like, cool things that happen. And, like, that's the specific one I remembered is he's grinding his yeah, 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 I like claws that. on the pipe, slashes the guy's throat, that was all jumps right at him, there. and it's only, like, like uh, camera footage from inside the cell. Yeah. Like, those moments stick like where, that. like, the other guy's freaking out. He takes out his eyes. He sprays a couple of yeah. shots, and then he pulls him up. Like, I remember that. I I'm like, like, yeah, you're was, exactly I like right. And I think, I think where they fell away from that after the first fight scene is, like, vampires in general... Or, like, scary movies, mm. the things you don't see are almost more terrifying. Yeah, Because your brain like. fills in the rest. 
So like you're saying, when you it's see the, the claws, of anticipation. when you yeah. see that, and it's like the scene when we we knew later it was Milo, but we thought it was Michael Morbius. Oh like no! The flickering yeah, lights in the hallway, scene. In the hallway, and like that you never see, and you know it's purposefully later because. You thought it was Michael. Yeah. We didn't know Milo had taken the serum, I but at the time, you at never point, saw yeah. a clear picture yeah. of it. Just, just the saw. skittering, yeah, and hands. then the lights and the hands, and it's like that was, that those was nice worked like best that. because I think vampires in general they kind of are like creatures of the night, and mm -hmm. like what you don't see and where they could be is almost scarier than anything yeah. you see CG wise. Yeah. You know. Yep. And we were talking yeah. after about how like. They're great actors, and probably why their scene in the park was so much better than their scenes later on was like that scene in the park. Was the CGI oh, yeah, yeah, for yeah, yeah. the effects, there, so, yeah. and like looked great, right. super cool, especially when they're snarling at each other. It looked awesome, mm -hmm. but when they're trying to do a scene together, and there's just yeah. so much CGI going on, I think yeah. we lost a lot of like the good the emoting acting. and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. we lost a lot of that I in those later scenes because of all of the CGI that was just stuck on their faces. Yeah. So, what y'all think about the? Uh, did y'all think that the two? Uh, well, I don't think the FBI agents. Like, I'm not exactly sure what their part in it. Like, the, the story could have been if you edit out that and then put in more story elsewhere. I think it could have been yeah, a little better. Cause I'm not out. sure. Agree. Because at like, the end, what did the FBI agents accomplish? Or nothing. Did they come? Did their they story come? If in we had had that anything, one or? scene of who was it that picked up the news? Was it Michael Morbius that picked up the newspaper, or was it Martine? I don't remember now. No. This is why we watch it multiple times. But <laughs> at one point, right. it's when they, it was Milo, because he asked, can I have a Daily Bugle, please? And I thought oh, that was smart. Yeah. That little <laughs> snippet, because you immediately are like, da Daily Bugle, I know Spider that. Man. Ding, yeah. you know, we understand what world we're in. Yeah. And then you see the headline that says, like, Michael Morbius wanted for murders. Right. So that almost tells us what these two FBI, CIA, police officer agents were doing. Mm-hmm. In about six seconds. Yeah. And we didn't need the rest of it. Uh, yeah. I, 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 don't I don't think, think we needed it. And Tyrese, so to his credit, I love Tyrese Gibson. Yeah, I like Tyrese. I love the too. Fast and Furious movies. Like, me too. I'm a, I'm a fan. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> at me. At me. My hey, handles up there they too. They know what at they are. The um, but, but like this was, to his credit, I'm like, I like it. You're trying something different. You're trying like way more like toned down. Very, uh, like, you mean Tyrese's character? Yeah, his yeah, like, performance. Yeah, 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 yeah. Way more gritty, way more toned down. I was like, good for you. You're trying new stuff. I love, I love it. And they slowly kind of reveal things about him through the movie. I don't know if you noticed this, but. To what end? Exactly. I mean, yes. That's your, uh, but I was excited yes. for him because it was like the first scene. He's like, "By the way, man, your, your blood. fake blood saved my life over in Afghanistan." So you're like, "Okay, he's a soldier. Very cool." Right. And then in the next scene, there's they they mention something about death and like <clears throat> facing it, and then he turns his head and you see that the there's scar. a scar on his neck. Mm. Yeah. And it's like, oh shoot, there's a scar on your neck. Okay, so you've seen so that's this the where he lost his blood or happened. whatever. Yeah. And then in the last scene. When they like look into that big hole that they made in the floor and everything, you notice he has a prosthetic arm. Okay. I didn't notice that at all. You notice? Yeah, I he's got a prosthetic, uh, basically like from the. Like, so they sent him, yeah, send him up to be a, another character in the sequel. They probably yeah. yeah I don't know what character that he could be, but like he's got a prosthetic arm from there down, and it was like okay, so you're slowly revealing like Tyrese, but also how. Yeah. Why? He's almost like Why? too many antagonists. At it's like Martine was an antagonist, was not an antagonist, but at the beginning of the movie, She's she was obstacle. like she was his moral yeah. obstacle. Yeah, yeah. And then you have Milo, and then you have the cops, and then you you know it's like and there like, was almost like too many antagonists. Yeah. And Michael Morbius himself is is he even classified an as an antihero, or is he yeah. a villain? And he's the, usually just a villain. Yeah, he kind of, I mean, he's. A lot of villains over the years have like kind of yeah. turned. Yeah, yeah. he's kind of like Punisher. But it was yeah. Venom, it, it was Punisher, very Venom, interesting to me too because I I thought he was a villain, and obviously we know the best most compelling villains are the ones who believe. humanize themselves yeah, yeah, yeah. and believe their, wholeheartedly their, their own their own and, purpose their right, own right. mission. But it was almost like they were trying to give him a hero's antagonist. Rather than like himself right, as yeah. an antihero, could have been his own obstacle. Yeah, he didn't want and that to was be all he what he was. Yeah. That. And then when he's got to like, he's got to use it to fight this guy who wants to use the power. Like it's semi compelling, but like he doesn't want to be here. That's another trope too. Though. And so, like yeah. the whole idea of like before type of thing. That's why I was like, well, we know yeah. what's gonna happen. And like yeah. he's including the cops. You knew the ending before I even got there. Like mm. including the cops in the story is so 
downtrodden. Maybe because, is that what they were doing? Well, showing the cops since the cops are after him, he has that villainous. But I guess. Maybe? But like the whole problem with it, like like plot wise, is right. like the cops had to be included so that he could get locked up. Just so he could escape, like, immediately. Yeah. Immediately. Yeah. And, like, was all of that just so Milo could leave his cane? <laughs> and have that scene of him, like, slowly getting more and more, like, cool as he left and got more power? I it was the like, physical acting that Matt Smith and Jared Leto was did was great. Loved it all. But, like, but no, that was, was that the only reason to have the cops to get him locked up in prison so that Milo saying, could that be his lawyer? chunk of time could have like, been used, like, elsewhere yeah, in the story or something like that. Milo... Or give me more Morbius and Martine. Give me more yeah. yes. Morbius. Morbius and Morbius. Trying to come to terms yeah, with yeah, everything yeah, that he's going to do. Or well, right. there were so many yeah. good moments. Like what Joe yeah, was saying, yeah. like there was a good movie in there somewhere. And the, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. the fact that, and the actress, I don't know her name. I should have wrote it down, but that played Martine. Mm -hmm. um, when he's making the like serum against Milo that basically is like, it gets rid of the anticoagulants yeah. so that his illness will come back mm -hmm. she very casually but very fully like fully embodied says why do you have two yeah that was pretty good oh, there were three no, no. no there, were, there were three to turn you into a vampire and he, oh, when okay, he was good. the one that he finally him. injected into Gosh, milo mm -hmm. all she says is like why are there two and uh, you know it's because michael yeah, he's like, I'm going to stop him, and then... But he says something, too, and that I almost wish he hadn't said anything. He said something what? to the effect of, like, I'm a danger to myself and others, too. I don't want to hurt anyone anymore. And so, like, he kind of explains the fact that the second one is in case he needs to use it on himself. In case. But yeah, her reading of that line was so brilliant that, for me, I got it completely. Yeah. Just Jared Leto, again, amazing actor, her saying, why, do you, why did you make two? Mm -hmm. And him looking at her that's all i needed <laughs> so they did too much they needed to do less yes they didn't do very much they less. didn't do what? enough there in was, some respects they did too much in others there was yeah. a scene the, the scene uh oh her name is uh adria arjona if i'm pronouncing that correctly adria arjona adria arjona 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 yeah, she was amazing I the, the yeah. she, she was quite but, good um, i would have loved to see more of her yeah I this scene was... they said that um, I was watching another podcast and like the scene when he went in with the bats and was like you know having that Batman yeah. Bruce Wayne moment. Yeah, they said the music. It was the music, music is very similar to Batman. It's just a to... long drawn out horn. <laughs> I was, I was like, like, what? Are they... and I'm like, this feels like Batman. And, and I, did, did, I didn't, I didn't like the way that like, felt. His hand in front of the thing. Yeah, yeah. I and didn't like the. I didn't like the way that felt. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was like this is that's exactly what Batman sounded and like then, in Batman yeah. Begins when he's standing in the cave. What's well, the yeah. movie, the Usual Suspects yeah, moment when he was walking out of the prison? <laughs> and you know, remember, I don't know if you saw Usual Suspects. Yeah. yeah. Kevin Spacey's character, his foot's crooked, and he starts to walk. And yeah. Straight. I was like, what are you? Why it was we? very Nolan that that but, refrain. Unless he yeah. was just paying homage, but because it was like the. The, the like underscores like da, 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 and there's like a long horn kind of holding it out. That's the same oh. sort of like tonal thing that they used in Batman. I'm like, dude, yeah, <laughs> dude, what are you doing? Well, and it's weird. I'm a music okay. nerd in me. They mm. might have done that to evoke a reaction because so many, like when you hear the, the horns, reaction? yeah. Well, the yeah. love for Batman. Oh, reaction. Okay. You know right. what I mean? It was almost maybe meant to like evoke a visceral like a reaction. Pavlovian of, like, response. A Pavlovian response. <laughs> you like hear Batman. those like deep horns oh. <laughs> with the bat symbolage, maybe you're like, oh, I'm in. You know, yeah, even though yeah, they hadn't done maybe. as much as Batman yeah. to get no, you invested. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. So do you, do you have a favorite sweet. scene? Like, Joe, do you got a favorite scene in there? Favorite scene? Um, Moment scene. I mean, I love the I loved Morbius killing all the people on the thing, but like acting scene, I think uh, him and Milo in the park was so Somebody good. The they park. had such great chemistry, and they were like walking Same. down the <laughs> sidewalk, and they were just like, "I'm gonna slowly hobble in the other direction." Like it, <laughs> they were so funny, and like they got each other. They were good friends, and they established it so quickly that they, like they have such a good rapport. Uh -huh. and it was just. Great. It is a the, great scene. The second. That second. The, yeah. the, them walking from the office building, like, through the streets of New York to the park bench, that entire sequence just was, like, if you need to take an acting class, watch <laughs> that sequence. Yeah. Like, with two tremendous actors where they're almost doing more in the silences than they are in the dialogue. Like, mm. And like Joe said, they immediately got, like, a depth of relationship mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that I think... 
honestly, even if we hadn't gotten the flashback scenes, mm -hmm. that scene still would have played. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, think yeah, we could have gotten yeah. that scene. It would have been like, oh, they've been hey, go, but yeah, because right back. before that they it had could have been one line. Yeah, they had a little back and forth right before that in the in the hotel. And I yeah. did love the flashback Flat. scene as well, but I think yeah. that's a credit to their acting that even if we hadn't gotten that, yeah. we yeah. still would have understood their relationship for the ending to play. Yeah, I don't know what the doctor's name is, but yeah, you could have had those one lines where it's like, ah, you've always been his favorite, yeah. and uh, then you immediately know, like they go way Jared, back. Jared Harris, the doctor's been there. Yeah, yeah. Jared Harris is amazing as well. He's like, oh, he's always been your favorite, and they. Go way back, all three of them, yeah. known each other forever. Mm -hmm. Right, that's all I need. That's why I felt so torn when I left. It's because not... there were some things, but you know that could be the Sony problem. You know, like in the Venom movies, yeah. there are some parts that are so stellar. Yeah, and there are some parts yeah. that I'm like, why am doing? I saying? <laughs> yeah, that's how I thought about the Venom movie too. Yeah, when he hacks the like that or. <laughs> Carnage hacks the computer. Oh, oh. when oh, Carnage, Carnage is a USB yeah, yeah. port. What is this? Yeah. Surely there's a better way, plot wise. <laughs> Surely there has Could to be a better smash way. Smash it off somebody? Like I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. But I, those are like that's probably like scene wise my favorite in the the ship's part. That whole thing. Mm -hmm. Fight. I mean, I, unfortunately, there's not too many I can pick out or yeah. to be picked out to say like that. There's just not much to say about it. Like it was. Um, is an origin story that was like okay. Before we move on, um, how about those post credit scenes? Now I don't know. Like I'm glad I woke up for that. <laughs> um, so Michael Keaton, from what I remember from No Way Home and whatever happened there, I don't think that Doctor Strange's spell was to put other people in other universes or whatever. I thought it was him bringing people to that universe and then. The other credit scene where he flies in and he, you know, gets a meeting with Morbius out in the desert somewhere and says we need to do some good things. I was happy to see Michael Keaton, but it's just I don't, I don't know where they're going with it. Like, is he trying to recruit him for bad six or six or, or something? But there's definitely, there's definitely some scenes missing because there were scenes in the trailer. Mm. Yeah, with yeah, 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 Keaton that we didn't get in the movie. Right. So that's what I was so like the the tone was so weird when it was like oh random guy found in this so FBI cell, and they're gonna let him go and, and then he talks like Morbius is driving and clearly meets him and I'm like yeah. when did this meeting happen there's a rapport that's already happening right that they're on speaking terms but like and is he a villain now like I'm that's what I'm, did I miss that yeah like, exactly is, more stuff is Morbius like, a villain did Morbius, he, at the end was he like I'm killing this, everybody now what are you meeting with this guy for what did you talk about before mm -hmm. I. You're, you're doing the thing that Moon Knight's kind of doing, but in the worst way, where it's like, <laughs> Moon Knight, I'm sitting there like, yes, I have questions. Give me, yeah, give yeah, me yeah. your answers. I would love to hear your answers. But, like, you don't have another episode. Right. <laughs> so, like, what I'm you say, you gotta they got to do it. The nerd. second movie going to need a lot. I'm going to nerd on you. All right. I'm going to nerd on you. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Because this is what we do. We read real deep into the details. Because <laughs> we get really passionate about this. Yeah. But I don't think it was Doctor Strange's spell. It had to. Okay, be. you think it was what? What do you then, think? Hear me not, out. Doctor yeah. Strange. Okay. Got Wanda near. I think it had to own? have been something okay. to do with Loki and Sylvie breaking the multiverse, because oh, okay. when Doctor Strange is using that spell mm -hmm. about in No Way Home, <laughs> and Wanda, the chaos magic is always red. Red. Really? All right. And when he <laughs> flashed, there was almost a sort of, if I remember correctly, like. A prismatic, rainbowy kind of. When he broke it in No Way Home. No. No, no. When he this showed up. Morbius when, in uh, the prison cell. It was when blue showed and purple. Up, That's what I'm saying. Which is the same color they had in No Way Home when everything was cracking. It was blue and purple. Yeah, but that's also because in the timeline cracking in Loki, mm -hmm. that is what that was. Also similar blue but and purple background. Yes, yeah. but Doctor Strange actually using the spell was red like the chaos magic. So that there is some theory too that <laughs> those incidences are happening almost concurrently of Doctor Strange's spell because I think Nate is correct. What? They would yeah. be doing themselves a disservice if the spell was specifically anyone who knew Peter Parker yeah, yeah, yeah. was coming to their universe right. by then trying to like yes. skirt around and just say like people are just going from universe to universe. Right. Whereas Loki letting Kang loose. Yes. Could do oh, way more than just bringing 
Spider-Man villains into their the universe we know, 616. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So I where do you get the answers? Is what I'm like, Do you get the answers in Doctor Strange? Do you get the answers in Morbius' second Probably movie? Probably Loki season two. Is that a thing coming? Yeah. yeah they're doing a second At the end, the post credit scene of Loki was he will return for another season. Yeah. yeah. So we're getting Loki okay. season two and we're getting Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. So I'm hoping that but between it, those two, it'll clear yeah. some of that up. This is like Sony Marvel. So what is Sony doing? Like, I don't know. But is... color theory has always been a thing. But that's what I'm saying. Sony Marvel. Right. Maybe so, they're breaking things up but yeah I don't think it was Doctor Strange about... specific <laughs> style. Thinking, I think you're thinking about Joe. So I'm like, in the sky, in the We're sky, divided. when the sky cracked the open. The sky was blue and purple when it cracked yes. open. Yeah. That's the same color you see. Here's you're something. saying when he actually materialized in the cell, it was the colorful. It was not red. It was more of the colorful so here's blue the thing, and purple though. prismatic. When you're talking about like chaos magic being red, yes. Doctor Strange's circles that he creates, all of his magic that he like weaves together, yeah. that's yes. always that reddish orange. Yeah, and like when he's. When he's like creating the spell in No Way Home, yes. and like that's always red. That's always that reddish kind of. I would say it's more of a gold. It's an orange. <laughs> it's a gold orange. It is not red like but Wanda's chaos magic. I just I think it's, it's I think it's trying to show preemptively. I mean, like Sony and Marvel, whatever their relationship is, how much they're trying to bat for each other. Mm. I think it's showing how out of control Strange was of that spell. Yeah, I, I mean that's Before No Way Home, and then Wong is probably gonna. To but I'm not sure if that if that spell is what they're going to do in Wanda as we move. Oh, I think off I think it's just Morbius. the consequences of him using that spell, and Wong's probably going to get us the lowdown of like you don't think it's a you messed thing? up that spell so bad, dude. Like you don't this think happened it's and this something different. You don't think it's Sylvie letting King loose? That spot then that, that, that I, they talk about, like I think that might be part of it, hmm. but it I don't think they're. I don't think they necessarily are as we move into Doctor Strange as uh, like theories. interwoven and connected because that's hmm. it was the same bluish purple tear that appeared in the sky and then Keaton got moved over so yeah, it yeah, had yeah. to have been Strange's spell and then, I mean yeah. how did Venom's little doodoo -doo baby get left behind too so I don't know you know what it's, we'll see and it may be Sony it might be the in association with Marvel yeah. rather than Feige actually has his people on the projects yeah. because a full Marvel Disney Marvel Feige project right. might have said we need to keep these color theories completely separate yeah. because we color know theory. how important colors are to this world yeah. where maybe yeah. when Sony stepped in they said oh we like how this looks and maybe then muddled it yeah we're trying to like tease a coherent plot out of two people telling different stories so right, right right you could be we could be running ourselves in circles for no reason yeah. I'm just That's saying true. Kang is here so we need Loki season two. We need <laughs> uh, Doctor Strange to come out, and then we need Whatever maybe Sony's another Morbius. Next, I, don't Morbius know, I don't know if we need. Probably, like, I don't Morbius. know if Morbius is coming out. If more if a second Morbius movie comes out, we're gonna need some answers so, all around. Somebody but, just needs to stop. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah. I mean, I, I would love you to hear y'all theories. If y'all got theories out you there, that, people stop. in the comments. Give us your theories. Yeah. Tell us, us if you, you think, think it's Kang or if you think it's Doctor Strange. Kang or Kong. I mean, strange, yes. <laughs> but uh, all right. So um, yeah, overall, you know, that, that's that's the overall. We love to hear from y'all. Um, which, and what y'all have to say. And speaking of what y'all have to say, y'all have sent me some questions. Oh, like I said, at the top of the game, really on top of it. That. Um, <laughs> it's just uh, we disagree. I wanted to touch on Peacemaker, but Peacemaker is a little far gone now. Did y'all watch Peacemaker? No, we never saw no, it. We never saw it. I, I saw the, the podcast about it. I saw okay, the, okay. the what's the podcast about it. All right. I saw the last scene with Flash and Aquaman. Oh, okay, cool, 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 cool. Yeah. What kind of fish All was right. it? Yeah. So we had some questions. I don't know where the questions at. All right. There. Okay. Well, some weird questions. Oh, we got three of them. All right. So nice. uh, these are anonymous questions. So hopefully, I mean, y'all can um, hit me up if you hit me up in the comments. And send some questions in the comics. I'll, they're not gonna, you know, give y'all your shout outs and stuff like that. But these three are anonymous comments that came, questions that came in. So um, the first one is, what's your favorite Marvel series on Disney Plus? <gasps> so there is WandaVision. We got the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Loki, and Hawkeye. My favorite of those. Oh, was there another one? What? That's is? it, right? What if, you know, maybe what if, if, you, if you feel that counts? If though the what if in there too. But my um, I think I enjoyed Falcon and Winter Soldier the most. 
But then, like, I don't know. Each of them had their own thing. Like, WandaVision, mm-hmm. WandaVision, WandaVision was, like, something I've never seen before, and I loved it. Falcon Winter Soldier, I think, just had enough. So much to say in that one, man. Yeah, I think just had just enough of everything for me. Loki, it was kind of slow. I didn't even care about Loki too much. And then, like, it was interesting at certain points. <laughs> and then, no, uh... Hawkeye. <laughs> and, oh, he's going to lean back on me. He's going to lean back. <laughs> Cut the black. Cut the black. We, we rehearsed that. And then, <laughs> We're back and on then, the same team. <laughs> oh. And then uh, Hawkeye was fun. I loved Hawkeye. It came out. They did a seasonal Christmas type thing, which I loved. So, yeah, uh, my number one is um is Falcon and the Falcon and Winter Soldier. Uh, so what do you got? Uh, Mariah. 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 Oh. It's like choosing a future favorite child. Yeah, what we get. It's, I'm, uh, I'm going to cheat a little. I'm going to read them cheat? off again? No, I cheat? don't need you to, but I'm asking, can I cheat slightly? Go for it. They they I'll throw favorite. a flag on the play if it's me. They were all my favorite. No. No, not like no. that. You can't say that. Give us something. Give us something. I will say the reason I want to cheat is because the one that I was emotionally most invested in mm-hmm. was WandaVision. Oh, the yeah. one that I feel like had the most ripple effect... And the most plot, mm-hmm. story-driven mechanics was Loki. Loki is a dude because they look young. I so, felt, felt oh kind of upset. Good. <laughs> so it was slow to me at first, but Wandavision mm-hmm. immediately out the gate, it was like nothing anyone had ever seen before. Yeah, yeah. And I brain. love Wanda is one of my favorite characters, and I feel like she has not had a lot to do thus far in the series. And I yeah. think this really was kind of like their love letter back to Elizabeth Olsen oh, to oh, say, yeah. like, please, we want you to be an <laughs> integral part of this story. Yeah, she definitely is. I'm glad she is. And just, I probably cried more in that series than anything I remember recently today, any TV series that, I mean, her reading the letter from Viz about their future home oh, yeah. and her <laughs> collapsing into the ground and then us realizing that the plot of land she's standing on is the world that we've been <laughs> seeing as yeah. her home in yeah. Westview, yeah, like, absolutely. was just breathtaking. Right. So WandaVision did so many things that I could not even... Like, watch I wish I could watch it again for the first time because yeah. it's so amazing. Oh, yeah. But Loki, then, I mean, Tom Hiddleston, he could freaking read the phone book and I would be interested. <laughs> like, you know, you know, it's. I'm he's... taking I'm taking WandaVision as your answer, though. I know you want to cheat, Loki. Fine. But I'm WandaVision, WandaVision as... is my answer, but Loki. <laughs> Jonathan Majors. Okay, can I can I pick WandaVision <laughs> and specifically Jonathan Majors from Loki? <laughs> All right. So can I do that? Yeah. Okay, because the last episode, like, <laughs> I don't think Majors. I blinked. I tried really hard not yeah. to blink. Yeah, I was going to say, the last because episode. Because he just crushed it. The last episode compared to the first, the first two so episodes. I liked like, the I whole know. thing, but that's my answer. WandaVision and Jonathan Majors. All right. Okay. Cool. cool, cool. <laughs> that's yeah. my answer. Because the first, the first and last episode of WandaVision was great. So... Yeah. So Joe, what is your favorite? I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna have to say Loki. Loki, all right. Like, so he got your Loki covered. I love then. history. Oh. I love history. I love Tom Hiddleston doing his doing okay. his Loki thing. So happy with that. So I was late to the to the Loki game. I, I loved didn't care all for of it. Him, but... I thought there were so right. many parts of it where hot take, Nate. Hot take. <laughs> well, the, the whole thing with the, the the TVA was like, you know, I love the MCU as a whole. So like every episode was like what does this mean for everything? Like, I'm just thinking every episode kind of ended with something like, what does that mean for the whole story going yeah, forward? Yeah. Like, what is, what ripple effects is this going to have? But like, it was em- fun. It was like, fun. Emotionally. Right. God, Falcon and Winter Soldier killed it. Cause like, same, oh, I thought you were going to say Loki. I was like, no, was that but like <laughs> in the same way that Elizabeth Olsen hasn't yeah. had many moments to flex, uh, Winter Soldier and Falcon, mm. neither of them had a, like, big moments to like show off yeah. their acting yeah i mean cause God, the scene where the uh, winter uh, soldier he was just he wasn't that he was just fighting and killing people yeah. and like the so. the moment they gave him where uh oh shoot she, she has a name crap the uh Sharon? no um, the specific what con uh the dormilage oh her, um, where she's like we have the we have jurisdiction wherever we find ourselves to be yeah her when she's specifically reading yeah. his trigger words back to him and it doesn't affect him, and he just like the tears well up, and he's like, yeah. "God, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this." It didn't happen, and he's so excited. Yeah. And then <laughs> when they're in, uh, I can't remember where they go, but that he needs to pretend to be the Winter Soldier, 
and he like beats some people up and then Zemo's like, yes. oh, you went back to that really easily, didn't you? And then that <laughs> hurt him so much. And like the scene when Anthony Mackie's talking to um, the black uh, the black Captain America who right. got the oh, that's super scene. and then they leave and then the cops pull up and they're like, sure, is this guy, is this guy like <laughs> the pain on his face and like, God, there's so many. It like, also yeah, gave us yeah. Zemo dancing. So see, he's Zemo cheating dance. too. Can <laughs> I say dance. that for the record? He said Loki well, he and then said Loki, he went right? on about Loki. Loki's right up my favorite. I think he's just, I think he's trying to, I think he's trying to cater to me a little bit. I don't know. No, man. Fuck. That, that series was so heavy. Yeah, it was. So heavy. They just yeah. need to fix the suit. Yeah, yeah, they they did him a little dirty. Oh, with it was ill fitting. Eh. That was yeah. not the best fitting. They Marvel, learn. they wanted to be comic specific, better. but sometimes you do can't better. make it work in real life. <laughs> too better. I will say we though. You know you have it in you. Um, I won't say more than I work at the House of Mouse, but <laughs> yeah, that's all we're legally walking like. around and seeing kids' reactions yeah. to Anthony Mackie's Captain America. Oh, okay. Walking right. around in Avengers Campus. Yeah. You will, you're not getting any better than yeah. that, man. I, I want to deep... That's why I didn't want to deep dive into it. But yeah, it's, uh, it, of course, you know, me, Black Man in America, it's a lot of feels came yeah. with uh, <laughs> Falcon and Winter Soldier. And on Bucky's side, too. Like, him... um because he had a lot to atone for yeah. so that whole like oh they they wrote it so beautifully man for both of those characters they kept yeah. up with both of them both of their stories and of course on Anthony Mackie's side that decision he had to you know make between like I mean I know what America today like yeah even still and what it did stands mm-hmm. for and stuff like that do I want to be yeah, the fact that the he face didn't of take that? the shield right away yeah and like, like he even had to have moral conversations mm-hmm. to figure out if he wanted it and then the, the decision he comes to so mm-hmm. good man right. Oh, so it's, it's a lot. It was a lot right there. That was, a, you know, I, could, I guess it's my favorite because I can relate to it the most. And yeah. Everything. All, like all those Marvel shows are good, though. All of, all of them yeah. are great. Like even the What If. I don't know. Did y'all like the What If? Yeah. I loved okay. the What If. I loved the What If. That was live action. Woo. We loved What If. I loved it. Yeah, me too. Oh, my goodness. It's got Black Widow in that. Oh. I know. Her and Hawkeye in that. Oh, the, the shot of Hawkeye falling down into the zombies. Yeah. The, oh. oh, that was so good. I think I really did gasp aloud she because did. I'm that yeah. dramatic, did. but I did. I remember at, oh, after I watched an episode, I rewound and it like just paused and was like, oh, beautiful. <laughs> yes. Beautifully it on my wall. Every frame of painting. <laughs> yes. Um, oh, uh, we got our yeah, reason the first hour. Question. Let's go to the second one. Um, this should be a real quick one. How do you feel about Channing Tatum as gambit if it happens i heard it wasn't uh, it's not happening anymore okay so it's not happening but if, but how, if happens, how would i if it did happen if? Again, what if it did happen i wasn't a fan of Jan tatum as an actor <laughs> throughout the years i guess he's he's grown on me but only by doing comedy i don't see gambit as a comedian i don't want to see him as a comedian <laughs> like you know i'll see him as a charmer but not a comedian i he wasn't my he wouldn't be my first pick as as Gambit, but I'd like to see what he can do with the material. I guess give it a get him in a chance. Uh, how do y'all feel about Channing Tatum as Gambit if he were to be Gambit? You want me to take it first? Yeah. Uh, I was hesitantly optimistic when you heard about it. When I heard about it, mm. because we have a really good track record of, I mean, hopefully track record of Ryan Reynolds and you know Dwayne Johnson and these people mm. who love, love, love these comic book characters oh, yeah, with the, yeah. and are putting so much of their own blood, sweat, tears, and money into making these a reality. Mm-hmm. And I mean, Black Adam looks amazing. Yeah. So I think if that is as big as a, of a success as Deadpool, like I would have loved to see that continue of like an actor like Channing Tatum really loving that character. Mm-hmm. I didn't think it was the best casting. I saw some of like the fan-made images of what he might look like and right. it just... He- I was hesitantly optimistic. Right. Yeah, I was I was willing to totally give it a chance. Like same reason, like yeah. mm, prime example, Ryan Reynolds wanting to do Deadpool so bad and wanting to get it right. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. Gambit's kind of been done dirty in the past, and <sighs> yeah, so yeah, Deadpool like, <laughs> in the same movie wasn't in the it? same movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wasn't it? Yeah, it was the same movie. Like uh, was it Taylor Kitsch? No. Taylor Kitsch. Was yeah. it him? Yeah. Wow, yeah. well, look at you. I thought he was. <laughs> <laughs> totally great for the part yeah. but they just gave him nothing to do they just yeah, like yeah. have him like you know I, two years I rot in that hell hole I ain't never going back and he elbows him awful. and you're like are you kidding me dude <laughs> that hat he's a master of sat in the hat I'm yeah, it was, yeah. I hated that hat yeah I think he could have done it was a awful. good job because he proved himself <laughs> fight wise in <laughs> uh, 
in the second Kingsman movie. I thought he proved yeah. that he could handle some action. Wasn't he? Was that one in that movie? Um, is it like desert alien dude, and he could jump far and fight? Was no, that, that was that was Taylor Kitsch. He was uh, um, yeah. John, some, Mar- John John Carter of Mars or something like John Carter of Mars or John, John Yeah, John Carter. Yeah, that wasn't the same guy to play Gambit. That's the same guy to play Gambit. Oh, I thought yeah. you were talking about Channing Tatum. Oh no 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 no. no. Well, okay, good. Yeah, I wasn't on that track. With oh, you you're saying Channing Tatum proved himself as a fighter? Yeah, in Kingsman oh, okay. Two. Oh, right. He, okay. He okay. fights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he has a fight with. Uh, oh. All yeah. the Kingsmen because okay. they're, they're they're statesmen. Gotcha. He kind of yeah. fights him off, and he kind of shows off some really cool skills. And I was like, okay, yeah, yeah. I, I believe you could be Gambit. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think I ever talked to anybody about that about Chan Tatum playing Gambit. So, yeah, good I've question. Good question. It. It's crushed now. It's like Dunzos. Yeah, like yeah. Marvel straight up like we're not doing that. So we're not. They're not doing Gambit at all. No. Uh, well, well, I mean, they're not doing a Gambit solo. They're movie. not doing Channing Tatum's Gambit, Gambit solo gotcha. movie. Yeah. Right. So this last one was a little funky. Uh, going to the last question, which is why Colossus is, is in metal form. I don't know if we can answer this question, but can Rogue absorb him? And can Gambit charge him up? Okay. Y'all know the lore. These, 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 I don't know if y'all know, but these two, I wrote a uh, Gambit Rogue story. Like, is that why there's so many Rogue and, and Gambit? <laughs> <laughs> and we, and we, I guess they know, the people know. <laughs> yeah. And uh, these two are going to play Rogue and Gambit once we get that started. But uh, so yeah, I guess that's why he's coming in. But do y'all have any idea if Colossus in his metal form can Rogue absorb him? And I think she can absorb him. Maybe, I don't know, because it's metal. And then I don't know if Gambit can charge him. It would be the question for Rogue Mm -hmm. is if Colossus is purely metal or if it's some sort of organic matter metal hybrid. Because it would have to be a hybrid. You would think. So I think if any organic matter... Mm. Yes. So in she the can. in the comics, so Gambit couldn't charge him then. So in because the comics, it's organic. okay. In the comics, talk about Gambit. In the comics, okay. all right, break it down. Break it down. Rogue and Colossus dated for a little while because specifically uh, because she could kiss uh, him and not have an issue. Uh, all right, all right. So there's uh, a thing with that. But how is he moving his arms and? It's, you know, metal. You know, you can make up, like, Uru metal or, you know, adamantium. Uh-huh. You can make stuff so up. So can Gambit charge him up then? In the comics, that was... Being, so in, in, that, the comics, in that comics... He can. Lord, he can't do it then, right? I think he can. That's the whole he thing. Can. Is he? Oh, is, no, he can. Yeah, that's what I mean. He can because he's... Interesting. I think he can. He's, uh, I don't know it? of any Inorganic? instance. I thought about no, looking no. it up beforehand, but I'd rather just speculate without knowing. Yeah, yeah okay. Because the, the <laughs> rogue thing I knew previously. But there is a specific comic that I loved, uh... Gambit was fighting some voodoo people mm. down in New Orleans, and there's a zombie, and there's a really funny panel where he's like, "What if I get charged at?" And then he does a front handspring over the zombie as he charges his head. He lands, and then the zombie explodes in his face, and he goes, uh, "Because it's not living." Yeah, because it's not living tissue anymore. Now it's an inanimate object. And he's like, "Oh, I guess I can." He like wipes. The- so he could just charge dead an- dead bodies and stuff like that. Yes, the one dead dog inanimate. So it'd be really cool to see him like charge Colossus's hand. Colossus punch something and then all that, you know, will it explode? Do you think? Col- uh, it, would, it creates explode? an explosion, but like his hand would be impervious to the explosion. Yeah, that'd be like twisted. his hand isn't exploding necessarily. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So the same way, like when Gambit charges his staff, hits something with it, and it just the, oh, all gotcha, the, Pat. Yeah, yeah, all the force. I'll give outwards. this questioner like one that. more question. Yeah. Does that mean Emma Frost is also inorganic when she turns diamond? Oh, so you can spark her up to maybe. throw her somewhere. <laughs> I, that's what I'm saying. Oh, Rogue can't, Rogue can't touch her either, right? Or Rogue can't absorb her powers either. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. To, yeah. Lesbian be love. Because, like, and I mean, they know. could if she comes oh. to the <laughs> Get but that's, what, that's my going. thing is like I guess yeah because yeah, 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 diamond would be like metal if they both change to that then it's metal. Oh, we it gotta be... we gotta get yeah. them kissing. Oh my god! They are and, and she's in my movie too the, the short movie we're gonna do too so we yeah, might have to get a little. I mean, oh sorry, I said arms are crossed Ooh. hard. What? <laughs> no, I have nothing wrong with love of all kinds. <laughs> no, no. I just wonder where it comes from, Nate. Right? Well, yeah, I know you're right. The intention behind that. Storytelling. You're right. You're storytelling. Right. Storytelling. Right. And then what happens with the storytelling? Morbius. Huh? More. <laughs> <laughs> we're not we're not gonna do that today. Okay. Yeah. So was uh was that the last <laughs> question? Yeah, that was the last question. All right. Um, there were, oh there was one more thing I wanted to ask y'all about. Mm-hmm. Did y'all see? Um, let me find this graphic. Did y'all see? I'm pretty sure y'all told me y'all saw the Joker deleted scene mm-hmm. from yes. Batman. 
Yes. I never got to do a Batman review, which is okay. It's okay with me. But this, this, um, let me just talk about it real quick. This, uh, the deleted scene with the in the Batman, where uh, Batman goes in to see Joker to ask him about uh, helping the case with Riddler, and um, I like. I don't know they, if they fully had that scene edited and it was already in the movie. They took it out because they had the music and everything. Which the shots were great. The color was still in there. The you know the pacing and the, uh, the audio, everything was like sharp and good. And I went, I watched it and got away from it. I took away from it like, damn, that scene was really fucking good. And I was like, all in on it and just like you know, even like I loved how they didn't show Joker's like fully, like so his face. I, I, mm-hmm. I'm a fan of that. I am a fan of of the uh, not seeing too much and like you yeah it makes you lean in like yeah. what giving people like, a taste in the batman when he put the, the the collar on the guy the bomb and all that whole scene was like just yeah. blurry like I, I i like that i was like that's an interesting yeah choice but i loved it but um that scene y'all y'all did get a chance to see it right yeah. yes that deleted scene what y'all think of it do y'all think it should have been still in the movie or do you think they should have left it out that you're glad they left it out or anything i or? think yeah uh, i think it was it's a slow scene mm-hmm. it's a slow roll you gotta kind of really they're doing their best with the dialogue to kind of like introduce the Joker, kind of tell you what he's about. Yeah. And I think it would have really slowed down the movie because the movie's it's almost three hours long. It probably pulled pulled you out of it. It pulled you out story like, a little bit because now I mean, another good reason they pulled it out is because Joker's such a famous character. Um, the actor who's playing him is making some interesting choices. Very cute. Mm-hmm. And yeah. so like, I had probably spent the rest of the movie going like. Where's Joker? What's he doing right now? Yeah. Like, like, don't don't I, give me a second villain or like a little. Give me the taste at the end of the movie. Yeah, like, I think even that weird. when they showed him in the movie, kind of it took me out of it a little. That's the only scene that like kind of took me out of it. It was that scene with Joker in mm. it. Mm. I mean, I mean, I wish we maybe if we didn't see that it was Joker at all and it was just a rando like guy in there. But mm-hmm. I, I don't. I still don't think it was needed. It was it was but, a slow scene. It had interesting things in it, but mm. I think. Plot wise, for the Batman movie we got, wholly unnecessary. Yeah, yeah, you didn't yeah. need it. Matt Reeves has said it was mostly a pacing decision. Yeah. But also, mm. kind of what you were reiterating is that he want he didn't want to treat Riddler like a secondary villain yeah. so far into the investment we had in Riddler. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, yeah, because yeah. Joker is such a huge character. Oh yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's so true, and so it's like Barry Keown was doing really neat things i hope he still gets to play more with that yeah i, really I don't think have questions i really I don't, don't think they'll solve a problem getting a sequel no i really want to know no. what this joker is all about but cause... matt reeves has said he's like it was just the pacing felt like it could do without yeah, yeah. did they did he also say that was, like this was joke like joker after like batman had already caught him no, or, I don't know. He hadn't they become Joker he yet, already, right? He's not, he's, he's Joker not Joker yet. yet. Yeah. Right, yeah. That's he hasn't taken oh, on the persona. Yeah. Right, he's just right. got the skin condition. He's got issues. Yeah. Okay. So that's why I'm like, I really want to know yeah. how they make him become like Joker and something like that. However, it does inform a little bit the uh, the meeting that him and Riddler have because at the, mm-hmm. when they first meet, he just instantly says, hey, riddle me this. Yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah. so you're like, knowledge. that's why, because you see the scene, he's got a bunch of knowledge on him. He looks over the paperwork yeah. and everything. Yeah. Does it, does it, did it take away from Batman a little? Well, I mean, we know it's year two of Batman, but it, do you think it took away from him a little bit? Like, um, he has this like envelope. He shows the Joker and then Joker looks through it. Oh yeah. I know what he's doing. And take that back. Like how come Batman couldn't figure this stuff out? He yeah. figured it out he, like three he, minutes or a minute or two. Uh, you think did just Joker he has actually know? I yeah, think so, okay, yeah, you're right, did you're right, he, or was he trying to get in Bruce's head? In yeah. Batman's head. True. I don't think. I think we got so much detective Batman in this, mm. and I'm totally fine if Joker was like a step ahead because it's, it's, it's the way it should be. Like Batman is Batman, and he can act like a bad guy, quote unquote, all he wants, but he can't yeah. think like a bad guy yeah. all the time. He can. Plan. That's what I was saying. Especially year two. Yeah, he's not. Yeah. He's not that good yet, and that's what I loved about a lot of the fight scenes. Is he got mm. decked several times yeah and i'm like yeah, yeah i loved it batman yeah. year two shouldn't be like 
one-shotting all these villains and like yeah. not getting touched at all. No, he's gonna get. I can't wait to see him in his prime. Several but. times. Yeah, he was. I freaking. Love That's why I forget. Movie. Like some people were saying, like how come Batman couldn't figure this out? Couldn't figure that out? Because he like really he's had twenty just years. He, doing he wasn't this, he obsessed man? with this whole thing for like twenty years. Yeah, he's since been he was, planning yeah. this for years. Yeah, and like yeah, and Batman's not gonna figure it all out in one night. He's not that good yet. Yeah, and yeah. I'm, I wonder if he's been on cases like this before, where it's like this, you know, serial no, killer type. No, this is this probably the first one that's been this. Yeah. Escalated. Right. Yeah. Gordon yeah. makes it seem like it's not a common occurrence. <laughs> yeah. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Yeah. And that's that's like. Yeah, true. That because everybody's like, "What's he doing here? What are you gonna yeah. like?" They were like up and huff and like they weren't used to it. Yeah. Yeah. It's a fine line you have to play in movies because like the whole, the whole idea of telling a story is that, like we're telling this particular story. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're not following him year one. Yeah. Because nothing of super big note happened. Like we're showing you this movie yeah. we're showing you this snippet of his life comics it. because it was interesting it was out of the ordinary yeah. and it was exemplary so like you have to know that going into these movies that like some things can be like oh this happens all the time he's good at this stuff mm-hmm. no we're showing you it because it's different and it's not what happens all the time exactly I love yeah <laughs> you love the baby i saw it three times cried all three times there was, was a great. the first when we saw it there was some lady behind <laughs> us who said it was like it was so boring i could barely keep my eyes open and it was like yes you know what it's almost three hours long it it's very like detective-y there's a lot of solving crimes and stuff and Mm -hmm. it was like if you didn't like this movie i get it but that tells me something about well yeah you don't have the attention span to be like into a mystery yeah and Go along the ride with this it. Is, like, and I'm all right with that. That ain't the same type of if movie. If it's not your yeah. thing, it's not it's your thing. thing. But like, okay, cool. We can't speak on that level then. Yeah. Like, we can't <laughs> talk not. about cool, intricate, like slow, character-driven storytelling like that. Because they did, crushed it. Did y'all have a favorite moment uh, in it? Like, uh, I, oh, that's a hard question. Too many, if it's too many, that's No, too no, many. I can I can narrow it down. Is there an emotional moment? Because so, I got emotional when he was putting the girl down on the gurney and... Yeah. Oh yeah, and she like the music and the, him. yeah, that's where the tears came. Yeah, and I was like, "Oh, it's I, not gonna happen again." Then the watch the second time, tears I, came. I'm like, why am I crying? Yeah. I'm like, not even like really like. Ugh. Oh, because it it's was just like brilliantly done. Eh, just, why am I getting worried? I, like, I'll bring up a noteworthy moment because I had so many favorite moments. Right, right, right. Noteworthy thing that they did that was different, and Matt Reeves talked about this in an interview, mm-hmm. was that they filmed the chase scene. Well, one, they wanted to they wanted the Batmobile to be just like Batman, where he's usually. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. felt first mm-hmm. and then seen yeah like they're hanging out and then they hear and like, what the heck was that <laughs> and then like you see the blue light against the concrete and they're like what is that and then all of the red lights come on and they're like oh shit <laughs> but they filmed the entire chase mm-hmm. yeah. mostly from like there are close-ups of the batmobile there are close-ups of batman in the car yeah, yeah. but it's mostly you're going mirrors like, from the penguins right, 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 right. or like him looking behind him and seeing yeah, it so like they mounted it on the you are being chased yeah, yeah by, by, by this, this is how it is machine be, be that by cannot be stopped yes and then it like <laughs> and then the camera is upside down and you see batman walking over and the fires behind oh my god that was dude. Great. oh I the music that was, was pure music. testosterone in yes. that scene it was so good yes. i think i Holy figured crap. out my favorite moment okay and weirdly because it was like i didn't realize we left this being on the complete same page. <laughs> apparently, oh, this so... was <laughs> apparently this was contested online. Oh, that's, but right, that's right. I think Matt Reeves has addressed it since. Mm-hmm. But when Batman is talking to Riddler in the prison with the Bruce the Wayne, Bruce Wayne. Oh my gosh! And yes. You as the, and Robert Pattinson emoting through that cowl so in good. the half shaded mm. darkness, and you're like, where do we go if? He knows, like, where do we go from here if year two That's a good people scene know right he's there. <laughs> And then just brilliantly, yes. he's the only one we did, we didn't get. And the, then just watch him like, like <gasps> the fuck, the oh fuck, the thing, the fucking seeds he planted for the audience throughout it the movie too. And when he's looking so at the wall, I know who you really good. are, or something like that. But it's like I know who you really are, like. It wasn't Batman specifically, was but yes. the audience Wayne's, was I know who you really are. You're scumbags. Yes. All oh, my God. It was so brilliantly that done good, because we pick. were all <laughs> holding our breath with Batman. Yes. And so apparently, <laughs> so Nate, when you finished it, you assumed that Riddler did not know Batman was Bruce Wayne. Right. He was just saying that Bruce Wayne is the only one we didn't get. It doesn't matter who you are behind Cal. Yeah. So some people 
were si- going away saying that he did know it was Bruce Wayne. Yeah, that he's playing him. And that he's playing him. I'm like, no, 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 no. No, no, no. It was, and Matt Reeves has since spoken on I it think saying no. Riddler yeah, did not know. He Because he'd have been different in the, in the cell if it, if it was his. Because he, he had a bone to pick with Bruce Wayne. If he really yeah. thought that Bruce Wayne was still standing alive in front of him, he yeah. would be. And even if he right. it lines up with everything that he was, he was yeah. doing, why he wanted to Batman because yeah. we're yes. I'm your homie right we just, yeah. we do we taking down the bad guys that together. scene and, but yeah that was a good pick that was yes. a good pick <laughs> the teeny tiny little oh, nod sure. to maybe getting Bane oh uh, because uh, like, I, I don't know about this I'm still. telling you I don't so know about this the, the internet listen. thinks it is so he's got the do little do you love like, how we both one, keep pointing I mean, to one, <laughs> listen. one yeah. amazing detail on like how armored up Batman is mm. and he has a specific spot in his armor to <laughs> yeah. eject the adrenaline if he should need it yeah. and that he has to flip up the little lid because it's armored because Prep you don't want to leave any weakness yeah I remember Prep that time, man. <laughs> he picks it up and it's so bright green that it totally matches the venom from like Batman the and Robin and I'm like, right. it's Venom. Until Matt Reeves says And he venom. hits it. And, be, and it wasn't venom. just the fact that it was <laughs> adrenaline. And it could the fact have been that, like, okay. boosted him and, like, brought him back. Yeah, yeah. But the fact that it made him so hyper-violent. Yeah, yeah. he was just And he was, like, you. that everyone was, so, like, Gordon saw it, Catwoman saw it, and they were all like, yeah. what the fuck are like, you calm doing? Down. But yeah. what, if it is Venom, what's your theory on where it came from? I think he probably it's he made its own his own juice. I don't think he makes it. I think it's something that like I think it's a lot like in Batman in Nolan's Batman where it's like oh we've got this room full of like discarded things that like hey we made this venom stuff that works kind of like adrenaline but it made people you think, too like, hyper violent so we on? cut it like something the Wayne's could be working on if I they do it, bring it up that'd be yeah, yeah. I think yeah. it may be the, like something in this family the Arkham, like like the Arkham yeah. stuff yeah. maybe like, control people. it was cut they stopped making it. Yeah, because okay. they realized it was a problem, but Bruce Wayne found it in the files, and he's like, "I could actually use that. I still that could be very uh, useful for me." I'm on the point. other side, though. I ain't gonna take away, you know. I ain't gonna take away from be Venom. <laughs> dude. Why make it green? Just to Why give it not make it green. Just to, to make people talk about it like this. I think. Yeah, maybe. you're right. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. So if it's red, then what? I guess it's not red. Blood. <laughs> Morbius. No, 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 I'm happy again. No, it's man it's bat. Man, <laughs> man, bat. man bat in the red. There you go. But um, oh yeah, my scene, my uh, you picked such a good, such a good fucking scene. Though. <laughs> that, emotionally and like just, oh, it was so quiet and uh, that scene was a great scene. Mm. But um, well, my my favorite because I always talk about it. And I just keep talking about it. Like you know, um, is him from him waking up in the police station. To him landing on the ground, mm. <laughs> so wakes good. up just that image oh. of him being surrounded by cops. I've seen it in an animated series, I've seen it in, read in comics. Just people hunting Batman is my shit because yeah. you can't catch this guy. Yeah. <laughs> like he, uh, this is moving. Like and they're it, shooting at him and he's getting hit, but he's still moving. Not in, in the movie, but like in in other like uh, in other mediums. <laughs> but yeah, so just Batman being chased. And him getting away because I love yeah. chase scenes, but chasing Batman that's that's on a whole nother level. And so the fact that he was so station. terrified, yeah. he got to the edge. He got he like yeah, he, that re- he like you know it's Batman. He's that's practiced. What I he's dedicated. He <clears throat> freaking zipped that bad boy up so fast he got ready. He was like, oh god. Then he laid a hesitation. This isn't the same as the simulations. And then like right, right, year two. He's like maybe I haven't I haven't yeah. gotten to this before because I'm running from the police yeah. officers. I'm about to jump off this building. Maybe he yeah. did like you know like cave dives and stuff like that. But yeah. this is and like, then he did eat shit. He said, yeah. "Yes, so hard." <laughs> like, oh, here it goes. There's a bus, and you think he had to calculate it, and at the he last catches second, the bridge. <laughs> I was like, "God damn!" Shit. There were broken ribs in that for sure. And that was, yeah. and I loved all that. I love that that whole sequence. That was a great that was sequence. Favorite, that was my favorite first. Yeah. That was a really interesting. Him punching Gordon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you're gonna pull your punch. I did. I did. And the way his face was when he was like, yeah. whispering. Yeah, listen here, you want to take the back door?" Yeah. yeah. Oh, that was a it. great sequence too. So many people were of a different opinion mm-hmm. of that first scene when he's going and checking out the Riddlers when he killed the the, the when mayor. He, the mayor oh. when he first walked in. Yeah. So many people were like. Oh man, it was great how like uncomfortable he was in that situation, and oh, he was like Batman? super. Yeah. yeah, and I was like, I didn't read that at all. They're like, no, they're like, no, man, he's yeah, Batman, man, and he's trying to establish that presence, so he's walking slowly, even mm-hmm. when like Gordon is in front of him and like trying to lead him somewhere. Yeah. He takes slow, heavy steps. Yeah, and plus he's the contact lenses. He has to scan yeah. the yeah. for his own records and shit. And like, 
There is not, not nervous. like acting lesson here for you guys. Yeah, there is <laughs> nothing. Hold on, hold on. Let me get you close up. Go. <laughs> there is nothing better. So there's a thing called status in a scene. If you want high status, what mm-hmm. you do is you speak slowly, softly, and you stay very still. And if you have to move, move on your pace. Don't follow anybody else's. And that's all Batman does in this scene is he's you know walking. Why? Dressed it makes getting... people listen to you. They have to yeah. lean in and immediately then yeah. you gain the high ground. If they're screaming, you just let them scream and rant and then you go, you done? I can do with, Be with so calm. Riddler. Yeah. <laughs> And then, like, he's walking in, and the guy puts his hand on his chest, and he doesn't, like, reel back or do anything. He just, yeah, he like... A, well, he, stands, he, he just stops and looks at him. And, like, he's... He, I think... I thought he did such a good job of, like, establishing um, Batman in that yep. scene. I'm just yeah. like... The way people were so uncomfortable with his presence. Yeah, they were uncomfortable. They yeah. were uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. Was he was unfazed. Not. He was in control. He even gave that freaking photographer lady a tip. Like, he's looking down at the blood stain on the floor, looks at her, and uh-huh. she's like, yeah, oh, maybe I should get that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. so good. That's why he jabbed the cop in the uh, in the, when he tried to take his mask off. Yeah, well, I just saw the two. Oh, so <laughs> good, good man. And now. He, like, like good <laughs> strategy on Batman's part. Like they get it. He takes him out, hits the threat, like, and then immediately the moves. back to the wall. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I will wall. fight. Everyone yeah. in this room right now. I think yeah. they're taking. Well, they probably put out guns. Well, no, he'd be, that might he'd even be screwed. He'd be screwed. Yeah. Yeah. it's all posturing. Yeah, yeah, he's done. Lucky Gordon was there. Oh, that movie's so great. All right, we got to talk about it a little bit. I'm happy. I'm yes. happy. I don't know what it's doing in the box office, but I'm, I'm I'm sure it's doing good, and I'm sure it's going to get a sequel. Please oh, do. yeah. I'm sure it's going to get a prequel. This has I'm been ready for it. since Wonder Woman, DC's best reviewed movie? Yeah, I think so. Oh, DC? Oh, really? Well, maybe I, sh- I think oh, Shazam Joker. did pretty well. Oh, I don't Joker think higher than Shazam. Batman, though. No, I think oh, it's still higher them than all. Okay. best reviewed, not yeah, necessarily Joker, box office. Because Joker, people was like, it's but, too but, much. But best reviewed. Yeah, people yeah. are very torn on Joker. Yeah, because DC is usually not... They don't have a great They're track record. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, Batman was high, high on the yeah. on the critics and fans. Cool, cool, cool. Ah, I love it. So overall thoughts on Batman. Yeah. 10, 10 out of 10. 10. Give me more. 10 out of 10. Yeah. <laughs> Matt Reeves, more. I'm buying what you're selling. All right, cool. So that was it, man. That was, I mean, you know, appreciate y'all coming through and talk about these comic book movies with me. I'm so glad we got to touch on Batman. Um, <laughs> what the, oh, what the, who we got? He's been married too long. The twins. Oh. <laughs> got to touch on Morbius, oh Batman, <laughs> Moon Knight. We're going to continue with Moon Knight. Um, I'm oh, so yeah. excited. So we're going to, like, uh, we don't have it locked in yet because this is the first episode of Royal Oil uh, Podcast. So we're going we're gonna to lock it in to give you guys, um, you know, a consistent date that these will be put out i'm thinking maybe sunday we'll be shoot on sunday so eventually we're going to do live and so you can mm. come in and i'll keep a track on like live chats and stuff yeah. like that so i can talk to us and uh, ask us questions there i mean you know we, we got some things planned and uh some things that's not planned that we're going to just surprise you with but um i'm happy to be here i'm happy <laughs> to be here amongst amongst uh, these group of people um there are going to be other uh royal old podcasts where you might just see me or um i'll be joined by other people let might want to talk about Star Wars and reaching other uh, geek culture because you know I fucking love all this stuff. You know we talk about get Halo and different video games and things like that. I might not be well versed in everything, but luckily I have uh, people who are <laughs> passionate about various things because you know you don't. One of the things in life you don't want to be just around everybody that thinks and thinks the way you think and yeah. agrees with everything you say. You gotta you know broaden your horizons, broaden your mindset, learn from others, grow. It's all about growth. Uh, so thank you again, uh, Joe and Mariah, yeah, of for, for taking us time on, with me. Hell yeah, hell yeah! I can't wait till we do this again. We'll um, make you a Loki lover. We'll get you there. <sighs> <laughs> well, the last episode, the last two episodes of Loki, were pretty great, right? I'm getting there. They were all yeah. good. But it's just watch it. We'll watch it again together. Okay. <laughs> and then you'll love it. <laughs> and then you'll love it. We'll tell okay. you why you should care. <laughs> Hold on. We're gonna have like the. Thing in the background is spin <laughs> love Loki, love Loki. Um, if y'all get a chance to watch Peacemaker, I'd love to deep dive on yeah. Peacemaker with y'all too because mm-hmm. that series is fucking crazy. And I want to, I want to see Halo. We'll have to talk about Halo. Yes. Yeah, yeah, Halo's get that sorted. I saw the first two episodes of Halo. If y'all haven't seen Halo, go check it out. Paramount nice. Plus, Moon Knight, Disney Plus, Peacemaker, HBO Max, uh, Morbius. It's in them streets. I think Batman's still in them streets too. So go check them out. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> but, it uh, definitely is. Thank you again, everybody, uh, for watching. Um, please leave some questions in the in, uh, chat, in the comments, so that yeah. we can uh, address that on the next show. Um, thank you again to the Patreon people. And um, check us out on Nate 
uh, youtube.com slash Lyle's Nate. And uh, yeah, I'll be on Twitch sometimes. Me and Joe. I think Joe got it. What's your handle on Twitch? What's y'all handle? Twitch? On Twitch. Twitch. It's Joey DeSaint. Joey DeSaint. Yeah. Did you got a handle on Twitch? No. No. Mine is Lyle's Nate. You know, I Lyle's should Nate apparently. <laughs> But catch- I don't. I will next oh, time. Let me ask you that. So where can people find you, Joe? Uh, on Instagram, mm. I'm at Joseph Ray Santos. You. Yeah, and right. probably on Instagram, at Mariah E. Martin. There we go. And you can find me. Man, I'm out here. You know I'm in the streets. <laughs> That's all, all these places. Lyle's Nate. That's what I do. All right. Uh, everybody have a good night. And until next time, stay royal. Stay loyal. Peace out.